Let's talk about antennas. So we're going to look at two antennas today, see how they perform, and talk about when you might use them. But first let's go over how we get gain from an antenna. An antenna cannot boost a signal. Rather, it creates gain by directing and or reflecting the signal in certain directions. An isotropic antenna, shown in green, radiates in all directions, forming a complete sphere. An isotropic is a theoretical antenna and does not exist in reality. An omnidirectional antenna, shown in blue, flattens this pattern, creating more gain in the horizontal directions. There are many types of omnidirectional antennas. You could stack omnidirectionals to form a collinear antenna, which would flatten the pattern even more, creating more gain. A Yagi antenna, shown in red, uses a reflector and directors to direct the signal in one direction, creating even higher gain. If an omnidirectional works in all directions, then why would we want to use a Yagi? Let's say you live just outside of a metropolitan area that does have a nice mesh network, but your node cannot reach. There are no nodes between you. You could use a high gain from a Yagi to reach a node on the edge and join the network. You also get the benefit of better signal to noise ratio by rejecting signals from other directions. Now let's look at the antennas and measure SWR. The first is a hexaboost. It is an omnidirectional antenna tuned for 915 MHz and is supposed to have a gain of 8 dBi. I connected it to the Nano VNA. We can see it is peaked at 953 MHz and has an SWR of about 1.5 at 908 MHz. Next I connected the Yagi to the VNA. It is peaked at 934 MHz and has an SWR of 1.8 at 908 MHz. That's not looking good. I wish there was an easy way to tune them, but we will continue testing them as they are shipped. So now let's look at how I tested gain. At one end I placed a Heltec V3 with the supplied antenna to take RSSI measurements. At the other end I placed another Heltec V3 that I could connect the antenna to for measurement. Each time I ensure the distance between driving elements was the same. I would do a trace route to force a transmission and get a measurement. I started by connecting the supplied stub antenna to get a baseline measurement of negative 26 RSSI. I then switched to the hexaboost, which increased to negative 18 RSSI. Lastly, I connected the Yagi and received a measurement of negative 14 RSSI. Since RSSI is equivalent to DBI, we see the hexaboost has a gain of 8 dBi over the provided stub. So plugging in the numbers, we see that even an SWR of 1.5, we have effectively increased the power by 6 times to 0.61 watts. It gets even more interesting with the Yagi. With a transmitter output of 0.1 watts, an antenna gain of 12 dBi, and an SWR of 1.8, the effective power radiated by the antenna is approximately 1.46 watts. This calculation takes into account the power loss due to the SWR. Now I do admit this is not a lab environment and I want to do some more testing, but I was glad to see my results are in line with what the manufacturers are claiming for DBI. So the one thing we can agree on is you need to upgrade from the supplied antenna with one that better fits your needs. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.